hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem we have 4 over x multiplied by 4 over x equal to x over 4 now the first thing is to deal with the left hand side so that we have from um, 16 over x squared equal to x over 4 remember we 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 had them um, 4 times 4 to give 16 and x times x to give x squared at this point we cross multiply so that we have x squared times x to give x to by 3 equal to 4 times 16 to give us 64 now let's proceed bring everything to the left hand side so we have x to the power of 3 minus 64 equal to 0. Remember our target is to provide the solutions. I mean to provide all the solutions. Okay. Now we have x to the power of 3 minus 64 here is 4 to the power of 3. And this will be equal to 0. Now let us use this standard. If you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, then this is the same thing as a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared, right? Now, I'm going to apply the same principle so I can you know, solve this problem. So, in place of a minus b, I have x minus 4 right then in the other i'm going to have um x squared then plus a b becomes four times x and that is four x then plus b squared that will be four squared close this close this and then this is equal to zero now we are going to apply zero product rule right to say that um, it is either x minus 4 is equal to 0 or what we have here which is x squared plus 4x plus 16 is equal to 0. now let's deal with this linear equation first we have x minus 4 to be equal to 0 meaning x is equal to 0 plus 4 and then x is actually equal to 4 and this becomes our you know real solution to the problem x equal to 4 and we can call it x1 then to get the other solutions to the problem we will pick the quadratic equation there and it is x squared Mm, plus 4x plus 16 equals 0. Now we use the quadratic formula for this. And our a will be 1, our b will be 4, and our c is going to be 16. Now in case you don't know how I got the a, b, c. Now a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1 b is a coefficient of x which is 4 and c is a constant and is equal to 16. now what is the formula the formula is x is equal to minus b positive or negative and we have square root of b squared minus 4 ac and the whole of this is over 2a now our target is to impute the value of abc into the formula okay so x now will be equal to minus 4 positive or negative then in place of b squared i'm writing 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 16 right and then the whole of this will be divided by 2 times 1 now if we continue with this x will be equal to minus 4 positive or negative 
square of 4 is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 16 that will be 64 right okay so let's continue with this this will be divided by 2 because 2 times 1 is 2 x will be equal to minus 4 positive or negative we have minus 48 and this is over over 2 okay this is over 2 now let's continue x will be equal to minus 4 positive or negative we have square root of 48 multiplied by square root of negative 1 remember we want to get all the solutions right and this will be over 2 now this 48 can be simplified so that I will have x is equal to minus 4 positive or negative 48 here is the same thing as 16 multiplied by 3 and then multiply by root negative 1 the whole of this is over 2 now let's continue x will be equal to minus 4 positive or negative square root of 16 is 4 then we have root 3 and square root of negative 1 is i remember this i is not under the square root sign so we divide this by 2 now see what i want to do x will be equal to 2 can go into 4 here so we have negative 2 positive or negative 2 will go there again we have 2 square root of 3 i <clears throat> okay so if we continue from here it means that we are having two solutions in one let's bring all the solutions together the first one is going to be our x1 let me have this so i can write my three solutions okay so our x1 will be equal to four that's what we got right and then our x2 now is obtained from here and that will be minus 2 plus 2 root 3i okay so what i did is to use the positive first and now i'm going to pick the negative one x3 and that will be minus 2 minus 2 root 3i remember this i is not under the square root sign okay but then this minus 2 minus 2 you can't simplify it minus 2 plus 2 you can't add them because they are not the same thing this one is attached to the root well you know this is attached to the root but this is not so you can't evaluate this any further thank you for watching these are the three solutions